Now to politics and a major development for Republicans jostling for position in the 2016 presidential race. After hinting he was in, 2012 GOP nominee Mitt Romney is out again. He won't make a third bid for the White House. Juliana Goldman has more. After putting considerable thought into making another run for president, I've decided it's best to give other leaders in the party the opportunity to become our next nominee. On a call with supporters Friday, Mitt Romney said he was putting the Republican Party ahead of his own political aspirations. I believe that one of our next generation of Republican leaders, one who may not be as well known as I am today, one who has not yet taken their message across the country, one who's just getting started, may well emerge as being better able to defeat the Democrat nominee. Statements quickly poured in from several of those potential 2016 candidates, including Senator Rand Paul, Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker, and Senator Marco Rubio, who wrote the following on Facebook. I deeply respect his decision to give the next generation a chance to lead. Former Florida Governor Jeb Bush called Romney a leader and said, quote, there are few people who have worked harder to elect Republicans across the country than he has. Romney's decision came after two weeks of openly contemplating another run, meeting with advisors, donors, and even with Jeb Bush. Earlier this week, he delivered a campaign-style speech at Mississippi State University. You may have heard that I'm thinking of running for president again. I... All the while, establishment Republican donors and supporters were in a holding pattern, weighing whether to back Romney for a third run, gauging if he'd be best to go up against an eventual Democratic nominee, potentially Hillary Clinton. But appearing Friday on Queen Latifah, former President Bill Clinton didn't give up any details about his wife's plans. I do not know what Hillary will do. If I did, I couldn't say, of course, but I don't. <laughs> For CBS This Morning Saturday, Juliana Goldman, Washington.